Hey dolls, today is such an exciting day because this past few days I have been testing out plumping lip gloss from different price range to see which one is really worth it. This year, lip gloss are coming back and now they are making more formulas that claims to make your lips look more plump and juicy. On this video, I'm going to judge four lip glosses in different price range to see how juicy it can really make my lips look. I will also judge them on how non-sticky they are because I hate super sticky glosses that makes my hair stick on them all the time. Also, how non-goopy they are, you know, when you smack your lips together and then there's goopy strings. That's also a big no-no for me. So we're also going to test out how moisturizing they are and how long they wear on my lips for four hours. I made sure that I was drinking just water while wearing all of them to have that consistency. The first gloss that we are going to test is this Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is in the shade 008 Stone and this costs 8 Canadian dollars for 5.4 ml. This gloss has hyaluronic acid in it. This one is very opaque. I can't see the color on my lips underneath. It did make my lips look a little plumper because of its high shine. And when it comes to the sticky test, I'm actually very surprised because although this looks thick in consistency on my lips, it's not sticky at all. I can easily blow the hair away from this gloss. And when I smack my lips together, there's very minimal goop. Again, it looked heavier because it's opaque, but it feels light on the lips and it did moisturize my lips. This reminds me of how tinted lip oil feel on the lips. On the fourth hour, you can see the color on the outer corners of my lips, but it's very clear on the center of my lips. It still has that balmy feel on. The second lip gloss is from the Sephora collection. This is the Outrageous Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade 02 Outrageous. This costs 17 Canadian dollars for 6 ml. This one has sunflower seed oil, ginger root oil, and peppermint oil. I love the applicator on this lip gloss so much because the center of the applicator is concave so it really hugs my lips during application. This one is semi-opaque and I can see some of the pigment settling in on my lips. It has that minty tingle on the lips when you apply it but I don't think it made my lips more plump. I love the glass shine it gives though. This gloss created a minimal goop when I smack my lips together. When it comes to hair sticky tests, there's some strands that got stuck on it. This also feels light on the lips, but this does not wear long. I think this is best put on top of a lipstick for it to last and barely see it on my lips on the fourth hour. The third gloss is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the shade Peachy Beige. This costs 31 Canadian dollars for 3.51 ml. It has maracuja oil, grapeseed oil, and goji. This one does not spread as evenly as the other glosses. You can see some parts of my lips look like it has more color than the rest. Pigment also settled on the fine lines of my lips. I'm also not a fan of the clicker applicator because if you click too much and get so much product out, you can't put it back. This also has a minty tingle on the lips. It has a fair amount of shine, but I don't think it plumped my lips. It feels light on the lips though. On the fourth hour, I didn't have any color on my lips anymore, but you can see that my lips are still soft and moisturized. The fourth gloss is the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade 038 Rose Nude. This costs 50 Canadian dollars for 6 ml. This is infused with cherry oil and hyaluronic acid. This evenly spread on the lips and the pigments were not settling in on the lines of my lips. This one has a semi-opaque finish and it feels the lightest among all the four lip glosses. Applicator was very thin and I wish it was a little bigger. It has a minty vanilla scent but it doesn't leave as much tangle feeling on the lips. It's more cooling. I like the shine on this lip gloss. It's not very excessive. It's just the perfect amount. This did not create a goop when I smacked my lips together. And with the hair sticky test, there are some strands that got caught on it. When it comes to wear, 
this lip gloss surprised me the most because when I was testing this lip gloss, we went out. So instead of a fourth hour wear, it became a five hour wear. And you can still see a light layer of the gloss on my lips even on the fifth hour. So in my experience of testing this four glosses and different price range, my winner would be the Dior Attic Lip Maximizer. Yes, it is 50 Canadian dollars and believe me, I wanted the winner to be at least in a mid range because 50 Canadian dollars is quite hefty for a gloss. But if you have extra money to splurge, I highly recommend this gloss. It wears longer, it applies evenly, it really feels luxurious on the lips. A runner up will be the Sephora Plumping Lip Gloss. I really love how the applicator is designed. It is very unique. They have a lot of shades to choose from. I just wish it's more long wearing. So that ends my lip gloss review. I hope that you find this video helpful and let me know in the comments down below what should I try comparing next. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is up. Thank you so much else again for watching. I'll see you on my next one.